Hello you guys, what is going on and welcome back to some new Madden 25 Connected Careers franchise with the San Diego, my hometown and home team. This is just my favorite team, that's why I picked them. So yes, in the last week we've had to face the Houston Texans, which was hard fought game when the Texans were winning pretty much the entire game. And then, just like it is for the Chargers most of the time, they came back to win it and they... Yes, very nice game there to the Texans. We deserve to win it, and let's get to this game. Anyways, now McCoy is stopped behind the line and giving one to Vic, and McCoy stopped again. Now the Chargers trying to get the Eagles out of field goal range, but that gets Avant open, and that gives them the first down. They probably shouldn't have blitzed there. Vic giving one to Kulik, who's pushed all the way to the one-yard line. Let's see if we can stop him on the one. Vic giving one to McCoy, and he is stopped right in front of the line. Second and goal now. Vic giving one to McCoy again, and Weddle should have stopped him there. Two times they tried to get him. Two times they failed. Touchdown, Philadelphia Eagles. Here, Rivers giving one to Gates on the wall pass, and he flies, and he gets the arms. Just short of the two uh, first down marker, and Matthews finds a lot of running room here. Flies for another two yards. First rush of the day, 12 yards. Nice celebration. He deserved to get that. Matthews on second try. He does not get too much running room, but second and eight now. Rivers giving another one to Matthews across the sideline, and he sheds off a tackle, and he gets about four yards here. Rivers giving one to McLean, and McLean gets over the line. That's another nice gain here. As they convert on third down, and Matthew should have had that one. That is not on the blame of Rivers. That is totally Matthew's fault here. Then Gates, he walks back and gets a third and 11. Why do that? Anyways, Gates now, oh, he should have had that one. He drops it, and that makes it three and out. We'll have to punt. And then Vic giving one to McCoy on the handback draw. Weddle stops him for another no running room. This time, let's see if Vic can give one to McCoy. And that was so... So bad, the Chargers definitely should have stopped him there. Anyways, now trying to do another one. Chargers defense totally lagging right now. Vic giving one to Jackson. He's popped, but he holds on to the ball. Vic, Vic giving one to Avon on the sideline. Who gets out of bounds, so they don't need to call a timeout or no huddle or anything. They actually have time before they have to get some more points. Here on a complete pass was going to nobody nobody. Here we sack and call the timeout immediately. Now what do the Chargers do? Chargers fight Floyd on the sideline and oh! He dropped that. I was right in his hands and he dropped it. Rivers giving one. Oh! M Floyd again but he doesn't get it now. Do they move the chains for the first time that they know? McLean had it but he is popped and he loses the ball. Another horrible drive by the Chargers getting zero on yardage. Then Vic scrambles. He could have gotten way further, giving them better field position, but he didn't. Now giving another one to Avon, and he is stiff arms himself out of the sideline. Stupid play there, pushing him further. That was just not sport, not fair. Anyway, Vic now out of the shotgun, and Lucha tries to sack him, but he scrambles and he slides in front of the yard line of the 42, and that makes it another three and out or something no the clock runs out then Matthews getting on out of the first reception of the game for 21 yards wow anyway Rivers now giving one to McLean who gets about two yards on that play nothing big only 30 yards for Rivers wow that was bad and Matthews injury looked like a helmet to knee and that oh that hurts Anyway, now let's hope he's going to be back at least next game. Woodhead finds a big running room. Probably should have hurdled there instead of cutting back. But 21 yards. Good for a rookie. Very good on his first rush of the day. Here drops the pass. Floyd, I think, it blows. And here is trying to scramble, but he sees nobody that is open. And he never does see all the defenders coming at him. He has to throw it away. Anyway, he gives one to Alexander later for a touchdown on the play after that. Then McCoy on the sideline. Getting, oh, and he looked like he was going to shed that off and recover the stumble, but he didn't. And now that's three yards before that, and and the next play will be a little bit different one. It seems as Vic is not going on the shotgun, which I believe he should have. Because here, to giving one to McLean, that should have been a pretty bad decision because he was on triple coverage, actually. I put him on triple coverage because I knew that was going to happen, but... I guess he still got the ball and nobody was actually even near him. 
McCoy here on the tiptoe catch, but he was not even close to the sidelines. He didn't need to do that. And Ludgett should have got him there. He should have went deeper, but no. He stiff arms his way across the sideline. Another horrible defensive job by the San Diego Chargers. Then McCoy jukes for pretty much no reason. Then that actually gets him yardage lost. Now third and three, giving one to Jackson. Flying catch, but it's no, it's not a catch. It was incomplete. But wow, that. If that was a, it been, it been an interception, that would have been the best I've ever seen. Now, another stupid throw by Rivers. Giving one another stupid one to Gates. And wha what? Gates should have had that. Gates is just playing horrible today. Here on the handback slip screen. And he's going far. He's going far. And he's brought down by Butler and a whole bunch of other uh, tight ends here. And wow. And now, after they got on a delay of game penalty, now second and four. And... They're going to go for the loop crash here because I just I don't know about blitzing at the moment since that didn't help me get along the last times. And Vic got m give one to McCoy right here and McCoy brought down after gaining about five. Then Vic again out of the shock and giving one another one time to McCoy. He, he slips so many times but he recovers it all the way to the ten. Now first and goal from the ten. No, first and ten from the ten. Giving one to Jackson. It didn't matter anyway. Touchdown on the first play. Jackson was no receiver ever there. So he just gets it in. Chargers now need this touchdown or else they are out. Another three and out would make them lose the game. Which at the moment is more likely to be. Since the San Diego Chargers have played bad this entire game. They do not deserve to win if they will. Depending. And Alexander who makes a nice catch. He's the guy that made the touchdown pass. And here big play which is very important. Then Gates drops that pass at two. And I try to get one to him closer than that. But okay. Gates is not anything for that. And he drops the game right there. That could have made them pretty much win the game. They just needed then one more to go. But anyways, he doesn't. So Floyd getting one. Sitting on his receiver there. No, sitting on the tackler there. And that's five five seconds off the clock because of he's just sat on him. Here, Woodhead just loses control of himself there. But still, eight-yard gain. Nice one to Woodhead again. Woodhead is just having a great game today. He should have won at first before Matthews did. But I guess he didn't, and let's uh, probably put him in next week. Rivers, and he does not want to slide like a baseball player because he knows how to do the normal one end. Woodhead, he's stopped before the line. First and goal now. Give me one to Woodhead again, and that's a touchdown. The unbelievable has happened. The San Diego Chargers to have no three and out. They make it to overtimes, and here, the rules have been changed. If you get a field goal on the opening drive, then the other team has a chance to come back and either tie the game with also a field goal or win the game by getting a touchdown or also losing the game by, of course, going four and out or having a turnover. Then, if you, if I score, if the Chargers score a touchdown on their opening drive, the game is over. If both teams score field goals, then the next team to win from, uh, score from there wins the football game. However, if no team scores, then the game will be a tie, exactly as if both teams score a field goal on their opening drives. So, here. San Diego, a third and five. Now they won't want to go third and five again. Woodhead on the reception tries to cut one back again. Next time you should probably think about hurdling. Rivers, now here, applying his players, especially Woodhead. Woodhead out the sideline and red zone Percentage, two touchdowns, 100%. That's pretty good. But that was just in, like, the last two minutes of the fourth quarter. Anyways, here, Brown, who won the game for the Chargers in Cincinnati. But the second game after that, they just they just lost to Denver 24-17. That game was stupid anyways. No score until the fourth quarter where they could have gotten a furious comeback. But if they had just played like they played in the fourth quarter in every other game or every other quarter of that game it would have been fine and they would have won. Anyways, Rivers giving one to Gates! Gates gets the touchdown pass in a horrible play game. He gets the touchdown pass, maybe gets some plus points by his coach there because he played so badly in the entire game. Now getting that touchdown. Wow, Chargers did not deserve to win this game. They do win this game 20-14 to in overtime. The Eagles cannot defend a half 
pretty much bad playing San Diego Chargers, but they cannot, so they lose this football game. It was pretty much just the Eagles playing, pretty much just them winning, but at the end, the Chargers came back to get two touchdowns and win this game 20-14. to This game is over. Now in the player stats, you can see passing, rushing, and such. And after that, you can uh, see the scoring, which you probably already kept following in the game. And this is your player of the game, Danny Woodhead, after just being in for about one or two quarters. But he's played very well this entire game to get number one. Well, anyway, see you guys next time on Week.